It's the Rock Station 99X. Your boy Puff here. And you know, one of my favorite bands, hands down, has to be Seven Dust. And I am stoked that they're coming back to the Riverside Warehouse next Friday. If you want to go, tickets on sale now, outhousetickets.com. Right now, on the phone with me is the voice behind Seven Dust, LeJohn. What's up, LJ? Hey, how you doing? Uh, we look forward to getting to your town, man. We always love it. So, uh... Uh, it's exciting. You know, Seven Dust has been a huge part of 99X. We've had you guys play on back porches, bartend, all kinds of crazy stuff. But, uh, you know, this is the first time we're ever going to see a Seven Dust acoustic show. You know, if we're going, what can we expect? You know, man, we didn't know what to expect at the beginning of this. And it's led us into the third leg. It's been incredible. The energy every night. Is, uh, it's like an electric show. You know, you see people hitting and everything. Uh it's exciting. We have a great time. And, you know, we just kind of we take you on a journey. I think of the music that we've kind of grown up together, you know, doing it, and we put some new stuff in there. It's really fun. It's a good evening. You know, LaJohn, I had a friend of mine see the show a couple of nights ago, and he said it was the loudest acoustic show he's ever been to in his entire life. So I think you guys are kind of breaking the mold when it comes to acoustic. A lot of people expect uh, campfires and kumbaya, but this definitely isn't that kind of show. Oh, no, it's definitely bringing it. It's a, it's a good time. <laughs> I think a lot of people would be surprised if they hadn't seen the show. Well, John, aside from Seven Dust, you've been a busy, busy boy. You were a part of the Michael Jackson tribute album where you lay down a couple of tracks. Uh, you've been involved with some other projects. Is it nice to get away from Seven Dust for a bit since you guys do spend so much time together on the road and in the studio and do something a little bit outside the box? Oh, absolutely, man. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I just recently did a, a song with the band Earthside and the, the Moscow Orchestra. It was a, a beautiful piece of music, you know, and it's always fun to, you know, step outside of the box, especially uh, for creative purposes, you know. Uh, it, it, yeah, spread your wings, I recommend it. <laughs> Speaking of going beyond Seven Dust, uh, there is one thing I wanted to address. Uh, I don't know how well you keep up with uh, internet music sites and, you know, stuff like that, but a lot of bloggers and music experts, quote unquote, are speculating and prophesizing that this could be the end of Seven Dust. They're saying you've had so much success with Blackout the Sun and the acoustic tour and the album, and, you know, you guys are getting older. You've been doing it for 18 years, uh, that this may be the beginning of the end for Seven Dust, especially since it seems like everyone in the band and is uh, starting new solo projects. Uh, is there any truth to that, or what is the plan for Seven Dust moving forward? Well, uh, as, as of right now, man, uh, it doesn't look like anything is slowing down for us. Uh, in January, uh, I believe we'll go back in and start writing another electric album. So you know, things are good. Sometimes those rumors get started up, and it's funny because we've never broken up. So it's like... <laughs> We see each other more than we need to have some. <laughs> well, that is great news. Uh, I'm glad there's no end in sight for Seven Dust because, you know, we love you guys so damn much. Uh, and I know I'm looking forward to hearing those three little words next Friday night at the warehouse. We are Seven Dust. Going to be a great show. Tickets on sale now, outhousetickets.com for 20 bucks. Uh, LeJohn, before I let you go, anything else you want to say? Brother, we love you guys, and it's been a pleasure, um, you know, coming through there and uh, growing. And, uh, I don't feel like we have any fans uh, in your town. I feel like we have nothing but family. So uh, we look forward to seeing everyone. Well, John, you definitely are family. You know we love you guys so much. Make sure you tell uh, Clint and the rest of the fellas that we said hello. And we can't wait to see you next Friday night at the warehouse and see what Seven Dust does next. Right on, brother. I look forward to seeing y'all. We'll see you in two days.